breast cancer rehabilitation. After surgery and radiotherapy and even with chemo, there are real changes to the body. And so what I would like to do is give you some ideas on what those changes are and more importantly what to do to minimise the impact. Now Sandy Hayes, one of our Brisbane researchers and her cohort, have given us some information that, that is quite concerning. And so they've looked at a group of women after breast cancer surgery, six months, 12 months, 18 months and then six years down, down the track, which, which is after their surgery. And what they've found is that 50% of these women experienced one, at least one, adverse shoulder problem. And so that was either pain, pins and needles, uh, numbness, weakness, a post-radiotherapy, something or other feelings. So my thought is, do we want to be in this 50%? Because we can have a choice. So these, these things are treatable. Now one of the important things about um, these symptoms is that they're measuring shoulder. The shoulder is very linked to the neck. So the nerves come out of the neck bones and they go down underneath the collarbone and then down into the arm. So if the neck is a bit tight, a bit compromised, then so will be the nerves to that side of the body. So what I'll do is take you through a simple test and a simple treatment. And it's testing the neck muscles. And what I call this is the yes nod test, the yes nod treatment. And so when we say yes, what we're measuring is the flexibility in the, in the neck. And what we, when we nod down, what happens is that the bones bend, bend, and when we come up, they bend in a different way. So what we'll do is measure that or test the muscles that are allowing that movement to happen. So yes nod, so take your head down into the beginning part of the down part of yes nod, and stop at the first point. Now you can see that I actually went slowly and that's the trick. So if I go quickly, it looks like I haven't got a problem. So go slow and what you'll do is you'll find the tight joints or the tight muscles. If you go quickly, what you'll do is you'll find where the most movement happens in the neck and we don't want that one, we want the tight ones. So yes nod, down first point of resistance or tightness. Now we'll use the contract relax treatment now to give us more movement. At this point, very gently think that you're going back up for the S nod. So my chin is moving up, my eyes are thinking that they're moving up and my hand is being the resistance. Now what I'll do is I'll hold that for 10 seconds. Now during this 10 seconds what's happened and because I've done it slowly is that the tight one, the tight ones have kicked in first. So, the, so what happens is tight muscles kick in quick and they kick in hard. After 10 seconds then I release. Now you can't even see that, it's such a small effort. And then what I do is I say well how much did you release tight muscles and then take it to the next part. From here, tighten up, so I've got the chin and the eyes going up for 10 seconds, my hand is the resistance, hold that effort, after 10 seconds release, and then take it up. Now it looks like I'm a little crooked, that's because I'm sitting on the side of a spa and I'm kind of sitting a little crooked, so my apologies on that. You should feel like your head is going straight down. So from the side on, it looks like this. Now be, be um, diligent about having your head in a good position with your body. So don't start with your head coming forward. So come up straight and then it's the yes nod. So it is how far down can we go with the yes nod. Then 10 seconds gently, chin and eyes going back into the hand. Seven, eight, nine, ten. 
relax, take the, take the effort off, and then bend it up. So I thought that was a good response, so I'll do it again. And so chin and eyes up into the hand for 10 seconds. Now you can see that the amount of effort is small, it's gentle. Relax, and then stretch. Now what I would like to tell you is that this works for tight muscles. If the joints of the spine and the neck are beyond stretching and sometimes they are so jammed up that they are beyond uh, stretch and so they won't release, then what will happen is that this will feel uh, painful uh, every time you do it. And so, for example, I was persistent and so I tried for six months and so kept on doing neck stretches and it did make it worse. So I'm a slow learner. So finally I said, well, that's not working. And so I headed off to my uh, favorite osteopath. Uh, so I would suggest that if that stretch doesn't work for you, then know that that is level one intervention. If you found that there is a restriction and stretch doesn't work, then you might have to go to level two intervention. So find your favorite physio, chiropractor, or osteopath. So it's important for us to look after our bodies now. We know that 50% of, of a study in Brisbane, but they're using this information all around the world, 50% of women six years down the track are experiencing an adverse, so a serious pain problem, at least one. And so I think that we don't want to be in that group. So what I'm suggesting is some simple ways to test your neck and then treat If you like this information, then subscribe because I'll be producing videos about what you can do to assess and treat your own body because I don't want you to be one of those 50% of women.